with the old and end with the new. The Army is evaluating existing unmanned aircraft systems, or UAS, to determine the capabilities needed in the next generation to replace the RQ-7 Bravo Shadow. The U.S. Army has been using the Shadow since the early 2000s. The new system has a vertical liftoff capability and will no longer need a runway. Prior to being a warrant, I was a UAS operator for the RQ-7 Bravo instructor operator and now seeing this system we've had it for about two months now. The biggest difference is that the vertical takeoff obviously one compared to the Shadow RQ-7 Bravo. Uh, it's definitely made a big difference. It's a step in the right direction. We know this is the final product that we'll be getting in the long run but it's definitely a right step. Uh, it's everything that we'd be looking for in the system to definitely upgrade the RQ-7 Bravo. RQ-7 Bravo has proven itself and this is something that could uh, help bring that along the way. Soldiers within 2nd Engineer Battalion Sapper Steel 1st Armor Division are assessing the new system to inform the requirements to build a more capable future tactical unmanned aircraft system. We're not required to be on a flight line. We can actually be embedded with the units. So previously with the Shadow, we'd have to go, you know, so many miles away from the active units and set up a flight line and we'd have to take off and land from there and we weren't directly attached. So it created a lot of logistical issues with uh, who was in charge of us and how to get supplies to us and while still maintaining a uh, security wherever we went set up. So we don't have that issue with this one. Wherever the uh, BCT is at, we can attach right to them. Uh, about 100 yards away, we can fly. The Army is testing four off-the-shelf systems across the force as it prepares to replace the shadow, leaving it in the dark. Reporting from Fort Bliss, Texas, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Alon Humphrey.